Okay, we're live now on YouTube, Matt. Thank you, Madam Clark. And uh, with that, I will uh, call back to order the meeting of the Insurance and uh, Real Estate Committee. Uh, I want to thank everybody for their patience here this morning. Uh, as you may have uh, sensed, we had some right. technical difficulties uh, this morning. Uh, this is a new experiment uh, in virtual uh, government, making sure that uh, government is able to continue to operate uh, despite the ongoing global pandemic. Uh, and uh, Diane, I want to thank you for uh, making it work. I also want to thank um, uh, the fearless team over at ITS, uh, particularly uh, Cheryl Smith, uh, for uh, helping make sure that this uh, virtual meeting of the Insurance and Real Estate Committee uh, is possible. So uh, with that, oh, item one on the agenda was convening the meeting. Um, remarks by the chairs. Uh, I, I, we have a lot of new members uh, on this committee here uh, this year. I want to uh, welcome back uh, the returning members uh, and also welcome all of the new members, both the uh, members who have previously served and also uh, a couple of uh, uh, newly elected uh, members of the General Assembly. Uh, this is a important committee. Uh, we have a, a lot of work to do uh, this year, uh, tackling uh, the healthcare crisis uh, that we are currently in. Uh, tackling the economic crisis uh, that stems from the healthcare crisis. Uh, and third, yesterday, uh, we saw uh, an attack on our democracy, making sure that uh, representative democracy continues to function, uh, that the people's will is uh, expressed through their uh, duly elected representatives uh, is important. Uh, we uh, were all sworn in yesterday, uh, thanks uh, under the protection of our Capitol Police uh, and with the cooperation of the men and women who serve uh, in nonpartisan capacity and partisan capacity uh, for the General Assembly. So we uh, owe a lot of thanks uh, to our staff, uh, to uh, each other and to the folks that we've all been elected uh, to represent. And it's a great honor uh, to get to work for all of you. Um, I'm very, uh, we have a couple of returning uh, members of the leadership of this committee, uh, but we also have a lot of new people. Um, and I'm very grateful to share uh, the uh, job co-chair of this committee uh, with uh, a friend of mine who I've known actually for about 15 years now, uh, Representative Carrie Wood. Uh, Carrie uh, and I have overlapping districts. Uh, and we were joking that our first order of business uh, is to move the Connecticut Insurance Department to a brownfield site in Rocky Hill. Um, we'll have to see the feasibility of that. Um, but I know Carrie to be a smart, tough, hardworking uh, leader, and I'm really excited to share the stage with her uh, today. And uh, I mean, it's, before I turn it over to, to Carrie, I just uh, uh, want to just thank everybody uh, for their patience here uh, this morning. So uh, Carrie, do you have uh, any uh, any words this morning? Thank you, Senator Lesser, and thank you for those kind words. I couldn't think of anyone else I'd be chairing a committee with uh, who has such experience and knowledge, and um, I'm truly grateful for your leadership. I want to say hello to everyone. Hi to the to the new members. Hi to the newly elected members. Welcome and uh, to all the staff. I know a lot of the staff are meeting for the first time here, and I look forward to working with you. And thanks for your good work so far. Um, all eyes will be on the committee here, and I couldn't think of a better team uh, that has assembled to do this work. I want to let you know that my style is really bipartisan, and um, you know I do approach this with bipartisan solutions on both real estate and insurance. My background is in insurance and I think that, I'm sorry, my background's in real estate. And um, I would like to expand the role of that real estate component of this committee and uh, realizing that I think health insurance at this time will be taking precedent. So I just wanna say thank you to everyone. I look forward to working with you. And I wanna welcome my vice chair um, on the house side. Uh, Robin Comey, who is also new to this committee and um, just a wonderful person. We came in together as freshmen, and I'm just thrilled that she's here uh, working on this committee with me. Thank you, uh, Representative Wood. Um, I want to also uh, welcome uh, a, uh, a new ranking member, uh, but not a, a new member of the General Assembly. Uh, Senator Tony Wong and I have both entered the House the same year, well, way back in 2009. Um, and uh, Senator Wong, it's great to serve with you on this committee and uh, love to turn it over to you if you have any uh, opening remarks. 
Thank you, Mr. Chair. And and indeed, it's been a long time ago. Um, and, and I want to first uh, welcome and congratulate uh, Madam Chair uh, Wood. Um, congratulations. And um, I, I think COVID has impacted all of our lives. And as we've seen by this uh, initial foray into the Zoom meeting, that uh, uh, it will impact how we legislate as well. Uh, but I'm encouraged that we're finally back uh, governing and, and doing the people's business after 10 months of layoff uh, in some ways. I, I think it's important for us to understand that um, uh, there'll be many eyes on this committee uh, on many issues. Uh, and I, I wanna applaud uh, Madam Chair Wood in, in addressing that it is the insurance and real estate committee. And for me, it, it really is important for us to get all viewpoints and to be able to create a, a process where all shareholders have an opportunity to have their viewpoints be heard and create plans and policy that are sustainable and viable into the future. So I'm very eager to begin work on this as a ranking with uh, my fellow ranking in the house. But I also remember my stint here um, and the guidance and help of Diane in, in my past uh, house member uh, as the insurance and uh, real estate committee. So. Uh, it's good to be back, but more importantly, um, it, it's good to get back to work on behalf of the people of the state of Connecticut. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Senator. Uh, we're also uh, joined again this year uh, by our House Ranking Member, Representative uh, Pablo Atamato, uh, who is no stranger to the committee. Uh, Representative Pablo Atamato, good to see you. Do uh, you have any uh, remarks? Good morning, everyone. And yes, thank you, uh, Senator Lesser and Representative Wood and all the other committee members and staff. Uh, I wanna thank you for all your hard work in uh, the last two um, sessions. It was, I know, uh, definitely interesting for me on the floor and hopefully we won't have to do as many amendments uh, this time around. But uh, again, there, you know, there's a lot of bills that we agree on and, and of course our goals are pretty much the same. So again, thank you for having me and I look forward to working with everybody. Uh, and just, uh, it, um, Senator Lesser, if you could go through, I'm not sure how it's going to work with uh, the YouTube isn't familiar to me. And somebody informed me that the CGA link wasn't working on for other people. So I'm not sure if other people have a different link or if you could go through some of that information for the public and how they testify and all that, that would be very helpful. Thank you. Uh, th thank you. Uh... Uh, representative for those remarks. Um, I'm going to admit that I don't have the details. I believe the YouTube issues, th this should be streaming now live on, on YouTube. Uh, Diane, do you have the details uh, of that? Yes, it is streaming live. Um, I actually had to have ITS come into our meeting to assist us with this because there were some glitches. Um, we're still ironing out how we're going to be doing public hearings. Um, we've been meeting as clerks and, and meeting with um, ITS. So we're in the process of doing that right now. Once that comes about, um, we will share with you. But I think I did share the Zoom etiquettes, um, the guidelines that those are very, very important to follow as we go through. Because like I said, with the chat, we need to be careful what we're chatting because it's FOIA information. So once I get that information, I'll share it to you. And I apologize again, but there are going to be a, a lot of hiccups going forward. And your patience is really what I need right now. And thank, um, thank you, Representative Pavlik D'Amato, if you click on the agenda on the CGA website, um, and it will provide you with a link to the YouTube. And I just clicked on it, and it's live, just to let you know. Thank you. Uh, we've also been joined by two uh, new vice chairs uh, of the committee, uh, Representative Robin Comey uh, and uh, Senator uh, Saud Anwar. Uh, and I uh, note that they're both uh, on the uh, meeting right now. And uh, uh, I'll, I'll uh, first uh, hand it over to, to Dr. Anwar, uh, who is a practicing physician on the front lines of the COVID-19 pandemic and a uh, uh, no stranger to this committee, but new in this role. And uh, Dr. Anwar, do you have any uh, opening remarks? 
Thank you so much, uh, uh, Senator Lesser and, and uh, both the chairs. Uh, and looking forward to working with each and every one. We have a very important responsibilities and I am uh, very glad about the makeup of our committee and the leadership of our committee. Looking forward to working with all of you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Senator. Uh, Representative Cohen. Hi, thank you, Senator Lesser. Um, I'm just really happy to be on this committee with, with all of you. Uh, so many people have uh, so much expertise that I think that we're going to uh, really uh, jump in fast and um, you know learn from uh, learn about the variety of the issues. So um, I just wanted to quick shout out to the staff. Um, we can see how difficult it is um, to to be reinventing the wheel here. So um, just thanks for for. Um, for, for putting the puzzle pieces together and and making it work and and keep not getting your feathers ruffled about it it's really helpful for us to to um to see that modeled and um and uh, I'm, I'm glad to be here so thank you so much Thank you, Representative. Sorry, I'm having trouble with the mute button. Um, at, at this point, I'd like to just uh, turn it over to all, all the members of the committee. Just if you could go quickly, just introduce yourself, say where you're from, where you represent, um, and if there's anything in particular that you're interested uh, in addressing this year that, that really attracts you to this committee, uh, please uh, feel free to, to chime in. Uh, and uh, I, I guess uh, on my screen, the first person I see is Representative Dathan. Uh, Representative Dathan, you putting you on the spot. Thank you, Senator. Um, I'm so pleased to be back working in the committee um, with you, Senator, and uh, with you, Representative Cara Pablo D'Amato, and excited with uh, Carrie's new leadership as Representative Wood as a co-chair of the committee. Um, we have, and also uh, the other welcome on board, the other ranking member, Senator Wong. Um, this is a great committee. We have a, a it's, really poignant. We see here in the middle of a pandemic how important for everyone to have access to health care, but more importantly, everyone to have access to quality, affordable health care. And I think that is an important task of this committee, and I look forward to um, looking at how we can do that for here in Connecticut, and also looking forward to seeing how we can, uh, working on a uh, improving real estate in our state and improving how we can um, work with that committee uh, community um, because that is a, a critical aspect for uh, our state's growth and uh, dictates of uh, how successful we will be economically in the future. So thank you for bringing that up, um, Representative Wood. Thank you, Representative. Uh, Representative Farrar. Sure. Good morning, everyone. I'm Kate Farrar. I am newly sworn in for the 20th District in Southern West Hertford. And this is my first official committee meeting. Um, so thank you for being so welcoming. And I really look forward to working with each and every one of you, even in this virtual environment and with the staff. Um, because as Representative Dathan said, um, we are still in this health crisis and we have a long recovery ahead of us. And everything that we can do, you know, for every citizen, especially those in our districts who are struggling right now is key. And for me, I'm especially interested in, you know, how we really expand um, all of the affordable and accessible health care that folks in our community need right now. And that we really make sure that our economy is robust, not only with that affordable care, but also what we can do in our communities to support um, real estate development as well. So. Thank you so much. I look forward to learning from all of you and coming up with some great policy for our residents. Thank you, Representative, and congratulations on your election. It's good to see you in the General Assembly. Uh, Senator Maroney. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, uh, James Maroney, I represent the 14th District, which consists of Milford, Orange, uh, West Haven, and, and Woodbridge. I'm excited to be back on this committee. I was on the committee uh, when I was in the House, so back uh, 2013 and 2014. Um, I think that you know the, my interest is uh, shared <laughs> with the uh, in previous speakers in that uh, we know how critical it is for everyone to have access to health care and access to uh, health insurance as a 
small business owner, I'm interested in, you know, access uh, to health insurance to make sure I can provide that uh, for my employees. But also, I think as a state, uh, insurance is one of our top industries, and it's something that we're strong at. So how do we promote regulations to keep us at the forefront uh, of insurance in the country? So uh, thank you for this opportunity, and have a great day. Thank you so much, Senator. Uh, good to see you. Uh, Representative Rochelle. Thank you so much. I'm excited to be joining this committee. Uh, you know, I, I think I echo my colleagues when I say that, you know, healthcare insurance um, and uh, expanding access to those who uh, don't have it or don't have affordable health care is critically important, has always been critically important, but the, the past year has really highlighted um, both the disparities and um, and how that you know truly has dire consequences if, if we don't uh, do our jobs well and make sure that we're protecting people. Um, so I'm very interested in uh, attacking that issue with the rest of you. Um, and I'm also uh, interested in looking at ways in which um, insurance regulation can uh, affect the economy um, and uh, assist the economy, particularly in distressed municipalities. So it's going to be um, an exciting year to be working with all of you and I'm happy to be on board. Thank you. Thank you so much, Representative. Good to see you and welcome to the committee. Uh, Representative Messers. You look like you're in a very sunny part of uh, Greenwich. Representative, I think you're on mute. There we go, sorry. A background picture of our beach at a sunnier time. So uh, again, Representative Mesker is 150th district. So the penultimate district in the entire state. Although physically the last district because I uh, border the shoreline of Greenwich down to the border with New York. But it, the way they cut them, I ended up in 150 versus 151. 151 is actually inland for mine. Um, so my background is in finance and, and banking. Um, I did cover for a long portion of my career the insurance companies, but on their investment portfolios. And, their, and so I got some insights into underwriting, et cetera. So my concerns, I, you know, I would echo the concerns on healthcare and, uh, and affordability. But on uh, the business front, I think the regulatory environment that is going to encourage um, those major insurance companies in the state to add at the margin to their employment within the state to grow some of the businesses that they do on a national scale and bring that work to Connecticut. So I want to figure out a regulatory framework what will make it attractive for them. On the real estate side, I think um, um, I believe Carrie was working on the Transfer Act last time around. I think the issues of making real estate um, and real estate development and helping economic development of our cities is crucial to where we go going forward. I think growing the economy, growing the economic activity so that our tax revenue goes up because the economic activity goes up would be a prime focus for me. So I wanna see that we can make it a productive year that way. That's Great, thank you, Representative. And, and welcome to the committee. It's, uh, I hope you invite, invite us down to that, uh, that beach there uh, uh, when the weather's a little warmer. Um, Definitely take it under consideration. You've got that, man. <laughs> okay, um, Representative Riley. Representative Denner, if you want to introduce yourself. Is that myself, Mr. Speaker? Or Mr. Chairman, yes? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, good morning, everyone. Representative Emmett Riley, uh, 46th District, the city of Norwich, um, entering my fifth term here in the legislature. And I look forward to working with everyone and forwarding some good legislation for the residents of Connecticut. Thank you. Thank you, Representative. Representative Nucci. I'm sorry, was that me? Yes, uh, would you like to okay. introduce, you know you introduced yourself earlier, but for those of us, because the YouTube wasn't uh, streaming, if you could introduce yourself again. Absolutely, I'm sorry, you were just breaking up a little bit, so I wasn't 100% sure. Um, my name is Tammy Nuccio, I'm the representative for the 53rd district in Connecticut, that is Ashford, Tolland in Wellington. Um, by way of experience, I have 30 plus years of finance experience and 23 plus years of health insurance experience. Um, I currently work in the health insurance field and besides budgets and such, I'm, I, my main role is state legislation um, and how that impacts and is facilitated through insurance. Um, I uh, am definitely looking forward to uh, 
the insurance portion of this, this committee, because I've seen a lot of legislation that comes through that doesn't really translate well into practice. Um, and are definitely increased drivers of the cost of insurance, which is an issue for me, um, looking at the availability and affordability of healthcare going out. Um, I'm also very familiar with mental health parity, the federal regulation of mental health parity and PAPACA. And from a mental health parity perspective, either enhancing or incenting a deeper bench of um, mental health uh, providers into the network to uh, expand availability via telehealth or whatever for mental health. On the real estate side, uh, anything that we can do to facilitate good organic growth, um, taking into consideration diverse workforces and such, but also the effects of um, crumbling foundations on our real estate market, especially in the upper eastern corners where we have a lot of that. So um, looking forward to looking forward to this committee a lot. That's great. Thank you very much, Representative, and welcome. Congratulations on your election. Um, you Representative Perilla. Uh, Mr. Chairman, thanks very much. Uh, Jason Perillo, state representative from uh, representing the city of Shelton. I was first elected in 07. Uh, this is my first time serving on uh, the Insurance and Real Estate Committee, but I am looking forward to it and looking, looking uh, forward to working with all of you. Thank you, Representative, and welcome to the uh, committee. Uh, let's see, who else? Representative Paletta. Thank you so much. And um, Joe Paletta representing the 68th district, which covers Watertown, Oakville and Woodbury. Um, I am in the real estate profession as a developer in town and um, I've served on this committee before. It's certainly a good learning experience and looking forward to being of assistance to the chairs and ranking members as we move forward. Thank you and happy new year. Uh, thank you representative and happy new year to you too. Good to see you again. Uh, and I I think last, uh, but certainly not least, Representative uh, Tom Delnicki. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chair and Madam Chair. Uh, I'm serving my third term here on the Insurance and Real Estate Committee. I'm from the 14th District representing the center of the universe, South Windsor, and looking forward to picking up where we left off uh, prior to the pandemic, uh, shutting the session down last year. Uh, a lot of work and I, I share the issues uh, pertaining to the crumbling foundations and what we can do to help those folks out because of the impact it has on the economy of the state of Connecticut, uh, the real estate market and obviously insurance. So again, I look forward to continuing my work on this committee and uh, I'm ready to go. Thank you, Mr. Chair and Madam Chair. Thank you, uh, Representative. Um, is there anybody that I missed who's a member of the committee? Okay, well, glad we, we did that. And uh, uh, I also uh, want to introduce the staff. You've already met uh, our uh, fearless uh, intrepid clerk, Diane Kubek, uh, who we all work for. Uh, Diane has uh, been really at the forefront uh, of bringing uh, this committee into the 21st century. This was the first committee of the General Assembly uh, over the summer uh, to start holding uh, informational hearings uh, remotely uh, to allow the business of the legislature to continue during the pandemic. Uh, and now we're one of the first committees uh, to have an actual committee meeting uh, virtually. So Diane has uh, been working uh, overtime to bring uh, this committee into uh, uh, the 21st century, and I'm very grateful uh, for all of her work and her work over many years and uh, across uh, many different uh, chairs and co-chairs uh, of the committee. Uh, we also have uh, with us again, uh, Brian Valco uh, from LCO. Uh, we have uh, Alex Rieger uh, and Janet kaminsky Duke from OLR, uh, and then from OFA, uh, Rob Lysak, Michelle Parlos, uh, and Anthony Naples. I also want to thank again uh, Zoe Gluck, uh, and Cheryl Smith, who have uh, lent their uh, help to make sure that uh, this committee uh, continues to uh, continues to to, to work uh, despite the challenges that we face. And I don't think there's ever been a time when we've been more dependent uh, on our partisan and our nonpartisan staff uh, who who get up every day and make sure that things work. We are also joined uh, by Logan Potter uh, as assistant clerk. We may have other uh, assistant clerks joining us. Uh, throughout the session. So I uh, just want to thank uh, folks for bearing with us 
Uh, this is going to be a difficult session, uh, just logistically, uh, but we have really important uh, work to do. Uh, just a couple of other orders of uh, business uh, before we recess, and we will be holding attendance right now until uh, 1 p.m. today. The link will be live uh, for members who have not yet uh, attended. Uh, please uh, re complete and return the contact form that you should have received in your email uh, from Diane on Tuesday. Um, that will assist us in contacting you and making sure that uh, you're aware of committee of business. Uh, also, uh, you should have received the Zoom etiquette guidelines uh, that we will be abiding by the session. Please read them. It is important to follow these to ensure that this process uh, works smoothly. Uh, and um, I'll just go over a couple of uh, really, well, I think we've discussed important things. The, I, we'll just say one, one really important thing for me uh, is that we don't use the chat function um, of uh, this app that we're using uh, because it is so important that the business of this committee uh, be accessible to the public uh, at all times. Uh, and that's why we delayed uh, the start of this meeting uh, until we were able to open, uh, make sure that uh, it was streaming uh, for the public uh, and ensuring public access uh, to our committee process is really important for the workings of government. Um, and with that, um, I'd like to just let folks know that at the moment we are planning on holding a committee for the purpose, a committee meeting for the purpose of raising bills uh, at January 12th uh, at 11 a.m. That's next Tuesday. Uh, that's subject to, uh, uh, to change, but that's what we're currently thinking. Uh, we will be, uh, uh, that's, that's what we're looking at right now. Uh, and we will hold this link uh, live until uh, one o'clock today uh, for the purposes of attendance. Um, any other business before us? If not, I will. Do I recess the meeting or do I just, do we just log off? I'm not sure how we. I think you should state that you're recessing the meeting. Okay, great. Uh, well, with that, uh, with that, with that advice, uh, uh, attorney Valco, I will recess uh, the meeting of the insurance and real estate committee. Uh, until one o'clock, at which point we will adjourn uh, and uh, see everyone next Tuesday. Have a wonderful weekend and please stay safe. Bye, everybody. Look forward to working with you. Thank you.